I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Happy New Year. Long time no see. Well, not that long, but it feels like a long time. I had a nice break. I slept a lot for about 10 or 12 hours a night for about a week. It was great. And I even sent some Nenga Joel. It was touch and go if that was actually going to happen because my printer is on its last legs and I definitely couldn't be bothered writing all the addresses by hand. But luckily it worked and I sent some a bit late, but you know, better late than never. If you're still on holiday right now, I hope you're enjoying it and I hope everyone has an excellent year in 2009. The first guest of 2009 is Chloe. She's from Paris in France and she stayed here in Niseko for a couple of weeks. She's already gone, which is a shame because she's really nice. I wish she could have stayed longer. Chloe is on a gap year, which means she's taking a year off studying between high school and university. Before coming to Niseko, she spent a couple of months in Tokyo studying at a language school there. And I asked her if she learned much when she was studying there. Yeah, um, like I had studied Japanese, well, for about eight years since, like, I started in primary school. And, but it was really slow. Um, for kids, kind of, so we learned songs, we drew with Japanese signs, things like that, which was fun. And I got the basics, but I didn't practice and I didn't study a lot. So, like, those two months, like, allowed me to actually use what I'd learned and, and being in the city helped me. So it was really, yeah, really worth it, really mm -hmm. helped me. Kia ora, in stick news today, 2008 was one second longer than 2007. UTC is a time standard which stands for Coordinated Universal Time. Apparently, when the official abbreviation was being decided, English speakers wanted C-U-T, but French speakers wanted T-U-C. So UTC was chosen as a compromise. Sometimes the timekeepers add seconds to the time to compensate for the Earth's slowing rotation. On the 31st of December 2008, an extra second was added at 23 hours, 59 minutes and 59 seconds. And that was Stick News for Monday the 5th of January. Kia What made you choose Japanese when you were at school? Why did you go to an international school? Are you glad you went to an international school? So all your classes were in English? What are you going to study at university? Why biology? I didn't choose it, actually. Um, it was, we had to take one year and I just thought I'd continue. It was, it was an international school, so a bit different from the other um, normal French schools and they offered the possibility to study Japanese, so my parents encouraged me to, saying, you know, it's a great opportunity, which I thought it was too, so. Um, well, my, my dad, for my dad's work, we travel quite a lot and we have a lot of family abroad. So my parents always thought it would be good for me to speak English well. Plus, another reason is that like the public school next to my house wasn't really good. So I just, they just put me in that school and then I lived in the States for a year when I was 10. So when I came back, I continued in the international schools so that allowed me to keep up my English, my level and and have an opening to the world too because it's it's different from other schools. So. Yeah, really. Um, I changed high school and then went to a public high school 
normal French high school just to also try something different and so like I don't regret that decision at all but uh, I'm very happy about the years I spent in that international school because I met great people from all over the world. It was kind of fun because like French girls would even talk English together sometimes. Um, it was just very mingled and nice, yeah. Uh, pretty much till, um, well, in primary school, it's just like a normal primary school with a lot of English classes. But then in junior high school, it's a, all the classes are in English, but math, um, mathematics and French, of course. <laughs> French and yeah and then when you get to high school or as well as you grow older some classes become French and English for the vocabulary like history you start having French and English in order to study like well different programs too and then science becomes only in, um, is only studied in French from high school on to have the proper vocabulary for the French, final French exam. I'm going to study biology. Well, I like I had to choose something. So I was sort of looking through all the possibilities and really hesitating, but then I thought, you know, that's the subject matter that interests me the most at school. I think it's, it's just really interesting. It's about life, everything that surrounds us is concerned by biology, our, ourselves, everything. So, um, and since I've was small, I've had an idea of um, becoming a marine biologist. So if I'm actually interested in biology and I want to specialize, that might be what I want to do later. True or false, Chloe grew up in France. True, Chloe lived in the States for a year. True. Chloe lived in Niseko for a year. False. Chloe said she's going to study Japanese at university. False. Chloe is thinking about being a marine biologist. True. And that was The Daily English Show. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bonne chance avec euh, les études d'anglais. <rire>